And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you go to push this back in. Just be gentle with it. Just kind of rock it in there into place. Make sure you've got your spacing uh, material in there. Torque down your screws. There's four of them. Uh, I would recommend putting a little bit of grease on the uh, shaft, the drive shaft, and the seal inside of the seal there. So when you go to press it in, it'll help it seal better. And it'll also um, help it slide in there better. So um, that's it. Don't forget to put that clip in. Push your seal all the way in there and then put the clip in. Um, a pretty easy job. Very easy. Um, I actually just, that totally completes this uh, out drive. I resealed the whole thing. The uh, shift uh, seal here, the o ring inside, the o ring up here on the dipstick. I uh, put a new gasket on this, so that's all sealed up again because the old one was getting weak, starting to crack and look, look pretty bad. I separated the upper and the lower and put new seals all in there. Um, the propeller deal here. Um, I also, uh, you just rotate that out after you undo this and the little, the little pin that's in there. So that's pretty simple. Um, if you have heavy corrosion, it might be a problem, but uh, not too bad. And then over here, you know, you got your drain plug for your oil. Uh, when you go to refill it, a quick little tip is uh, when you go to refill it, um, plug your plug your pump in there with your oil on it, obviously your gear oil. And then uh, what you're going to want to do is undo this little uh, this little screw right here, the bleeder, and just pump the oil up until you see that oil coming out of that screw right there. And once that oil comes out, you'll uh, you'll know that it's full. So close it up and then take your uh, take your pump out and close up the drain plug uh, deal there and wait about 10 15 minutes and then check your dipstick and you should be good um, oil level make sure obviously that you're on a level surface like this so that uh, you're not an angle or incline or anything like that but uh, very easy pretty good little tip there for that and uh, yeah I'm going to pressure test and vacuum test this thing before I uh, throw it back on there and put gear oil in it. But um, that's pretty much a reseal of, a, of a, the whole drive there that I did myself. So um, it can be done. It's very, you know, if you have any kind of mechanical incline whatsoever, you could probably, uh, you'd probably get the job done. It's not that difficult. Um, just kind of look at it and it just, you know how it goes together and how it comes apart. And pretty easy. Anyway. I'm um, going to get this thing back together and hopefully the weather uh, gets a little hotter. It's been kind of weird lately. It's been kind of hot weather in the 80s and 90s and then all of a sudden it gets cold. So uh, I'm going to put it all back together and see if uh, maybe the yellowtails start biting here and I can get, get out sometime in uh, the end of the month here. Anyway, I uh, hope everyone has a good day and uh, happy boating and happy fishing if fishing's your thing like it is with me. So uh, take care.